Hey guys, I uh, just want to do a video here showing how the tachometer mod works on an AE86 with the Beams 3S GE swap. Um, so essentially the ECU for the Beams uh, is a totally different signal than what the um, 4A uh, essentially would send out because the 4A tachometer signal came from the ignition coil if I remember correctly. Um, and so it's totally different from the ignition coil versus the ECU. I'll be honest, I'm not an electrical engineer, so I don't know the exact differences and why you need to do this modification. All I know is that um, <coughs> some guys have done it and it works. Um, really, I, I got the information from uh, PanicWire, so a uh, shout out to those guys for, for not only uh, offering up the information, but showing pictures of how to do it. Um, so essentially, you wire in a resistor, to uh, lower resistance resistor to bypass a resistor that's... Um, <coughs> In the uh, in the tachometer, I guess you're not wiring it in; you're you're soldering it into the circuit board. Um, and when you do that, it allows uh, it allows the EC or allows the tachometer to get the right signal. Um, since it's a lower resistance, my understanding is that with lower resistance, it's a lower amperage or lower voltage signal that the tachometer now gets from the ECU uh, versus what it was getting from the ignition coil. Probably lower voltage, not necessarily amperage, but um, Anyway, the, all questioning aside, it works. So um, not only does it work in the factory ECU, but I also have uh, an Adaptronic M2000 ECU wired into my car that, um, you know, you can't really see it because potato cam. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show uh, that it works. So key on, fuel pump primes, and let's fire it up. And there it is. I've got my idle set at about 900 RPM, and you can see that's it's pretty much right there at uh, 900 RPM. If I give it some throttle, it goes right up, reads real nice and smooth. 